With Sweetness, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey departed the Coachella 2024 Music Festival side by side. The pair had just spent a wonderful evening together in a lively musical setting. When the music festival came to an end, the two gave each other a tender shoulder hug and made their way out. Taylor Swift made an elegant entrance while sporting a cute backwards hat. In the meantime, Travis Kelsey sports a white hat and a checkered shirt. When they stroll side by side, they look stunning. On Saturday night at Coachella 2024, Jack Antonoff kicked things off with a bang, introducing appearances from Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift while playing with his band Bleachers. Using a gap in her schedule, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey went to see friend and bandmate Jack Antonoff perform with Bleachers. From the celebration following the Super Bowl victory to this point, new fans have continued to appreciate the thrilling and endearing moments involving Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Always together, the two engrossed themselves in the music while exchanging passionate kisses and hugs. After watching this video, a lot of fans commented that it brought back memories of their Super Bowl party. Someone else mentioned that at a lively party like this, the couple always commands the most attention. The next person said, no, I haven't seen a glass of wine yet, so this isn't a party yet the affectionate snapshot and video of Swift and Kelsey, who were in the throng of concert goers. After an eight-year hiatus, Swift has returned to the well-known music festival in a way that has her fans giddy with anticipation. When she was last here, she had a stylish bleach blonde hairstyle that started the Bleachella trend and swept the internet. With so many of her close friends, including Lana Del Rey and Jack, scheduled to perform, there were initially rumors that Taylor Swift would attend the music festival. Swift and Kelsey, however, made the decision to miss the event while Lana was performing that evening. Rather, they were seen walking out of Sushi Park after their romantic evening hand-in-hand. Hand. Even for the first weekend of the festival, the couple had rented a house nearby. Since not just anybody can stay at the Madison Club, it is ideal for them because they want privacy. They added that they want to be comfortable and be able to let their guard down, not to mention that they don't want a lot of people staring at them. The Eras tour vocalist has been residing in the Los Angeles region during her two-month hiatus from her sold-out three-plus-hour show. Swift was spotted at the performance with Travis Kelsey, a player for the Kansas City Chiefs, her boyfriend. The Tight End is preparing to host Kelsey Jam, his own music event in Kansas City on May 18th. By then, Swift will have returned to the road, performing in Stockholm, Sweden, after releasing her 11th album, The Tortured Poets Department. Swift's close circle, the billionaire opening act in South America, Australia and Singapore, features a number of performers in addition to Antonov. I Spice, the singer of Karma, will perform this evening in the Sahara Tent, following Sabrina Carpenter's earlier performance during the Indio concert series. The Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce sweet moments quickly went viral on social media, and fans adored them. Swift and Kelsey shocked fans when they caught them out on a date at Sushi Park Restaurant in Los Angeles, even though the couple's adorable moments from the festival are still fresh in their memories. With an olive green sweater and shorts, the Kansas City Chiefs' tight end looked dapper, while the Grammy winner looked stylish in a black top, denim skirt, and red bomber jacket. Both of them wore sneakers and Taylor accessorized her ensemble with her go-to-red lip and a tan purse. The couple strolled hand in hand while conversing having announced their relationship to the world in September of last year. While the love story hitmaker grinned at him during their chat, the NFL hottie noticed paparazzi cameras and gave them a fierce glare. This comes after the athlete who won the Super Bowl visited Cincinnati for a live recording of his podcast, New Heights with Jason Kelsey. Because they were unable to attend their original high school graduation ceremony, the pair also received an honorary one. NFL players Jason and Travis Kelsey, two of the most adored brothers in the world, received diplomas on Thursday during a surprise commencement ceremony at the University of Cincinnati during a podcast event in New Heights. Jason holds a bachelor's degree in marketing, and Travis holds a degree in interdisciplinary studies. However, the Cincinnati Inquirer claims that both chose not to attend their graduation ceremonies. Parents Ed and Donna Kelsey were at Arena to witness a historic event, beaming with pride. Dr. Neville Pinto, the president of the university, gave the Kelsey brothers their diplomas while dressed in traditional graduation regalia. Travis had a victory beer as a pregame before grabbing his diploma. The audience gave this a round of applause in person. The University of Cincinnati's and the Cincinnati Bengals radio voice, Dan Horde, aptly put it as getting a diploma in the Travis Kels mold. But not everyone found Travis Kelsey's onstage antics to be amusing. One former user said, I am all for slinging a brew after getting that degree but anyone else does that and they are shown the door. This is extremely embarrassing someone else said. Another person wrote, 
they are complicit in mocking the value of their own institution and award. Another former user thought the 34-year-old three-time Super Bowl champion should behave better, possibly grabbing at the girls around their necks. They wrote, hey guys, let's make this all about me, it's like a child in a body. However, some bystanders thought the outrage over the sud-sucking was exaggerated. As the ex-Denison joked, the only thing funnier than Travis knocking back that beer is the phony outrage from some of you in the comments section. Meanwhile, confetti was raining down on Jason and Travis Kelsey, who shared this familiar situation on their podcast X account, New Heights the University of Cincinnati of course, showered the brothers with praise for their visitation to campus. An unexpected commencement that will live in our memories, the university wrote on X. Congrats to Jason and Travis for obtaining their diplomas at last. While at the event, Travis recorded the podcast and showed off his dancing abilities. The Kansas City Chiefs' tight end was dancing to a marching band rendition of his girlfriend Taylor Swift's song Shake It Off while standing next to his brother on stage. The pop star and NFL player took advantage of the reduced traffic during festival weekend, when many Los Angeles residents left town to have dinner at Sushi Park, a popular spot for celebrities. Its unremarkable strip mall balcony may be familiar to you from paparazzi photos of Selena Gomez and Swift, or even Haley and Justin Bieber, or Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny, enjoying a girls' night out at the Omay location in October. The anti-hero singer wore her hair down in loose waves and accessorized her ensemble with her signature red lip, all while wearing a red varsity jacket by Chief and a black denim miniskirt. Swift held hands with Kelsey, who was wearing a hunter green crew neck and matching shorts, while one arm held her Gucci purse. The pictures are accessible here. Taylor Swift appears to have briefly reverted back to her Sunday football look after switching to a more subdued spring color scheme in anticipation of the release of her album The Tortured Poets Department. The outfit that Friday wore this past fall is far more similar to her reputation-coded ensemble and vintage chief sweaters. Swift dressed preppier for their most recent sushi date at Noel Malibu, wearing a pleated khaki skirt and loafers. The two may still make it to Indio, California for today's lineup even though they chose not to attend Coachella Night One. Earlier this month, Kelsey admitted to People, I am a Coachella guy I adore attending Coachella. I generally adore live music. So, you may see me appear over there at some point. Sadly, missing Friday's shows meant missing Swift's close friend Lana Del Rey's headline performance and Sabrina Carpenter's opening act for her Eras tour. Swift's attendance at Weekend 2 is unlikely given that her department ends on April 19th. But an epic promo would be a surprise appearance during Del Rey's second set. Today is over, so that's it. You are welcome to share your thoughts in the comments section below, and don't forget to give this post a like and subscribe to receive additional in-depth analysis as well as the most recent insights regarding your favorite celebrities. In order to ensure that you are able to keep up with all of our upcoming content, please click the subscribe button and give this video a like. We appreciate you watching.